So now in this video we wired the uh, LM358 op amp here as a current source. So I'm going to the resistor there. We'll look at a schematic in the circuit closer. So I was aiming for uh, 5.1 milliamps of current and you can see it's pretty close there. So that's with no load. And now we'll add an LED and uh, the LED will be the load. We just have to go to the other end there. And you can see we got pretty much the same current. Went down just a little bit. And now we're going to add another LED. So we got two series LEDs here that we're going to send current through. And I uh, went down a little bit again, but it's uh, close to the same uh, current. So two LEDs, uh, one LED, two series, and then one lone LED. And now no load at all. And now, of course, I turned off the multimeter. If you accidentally measure current when you didn't mean to, you'll likely blow a fuse. But in uh, any case, I'm not going to show all that now. We have uh, the schematic diagram. We are powering the LM358, even though I'm not showing it on the schematic. Sometimes you won't see it. So that's uh, 12 volts across it, like the rest of the circuit. You can see 12 volts up there. And uh, we have a uh, Zener diode setting about 5.1 volts to the non-inverting input. So the non-inverting input is below the inverting input. Output is on top. On the physical component, even though on the schematic I drew it the other way just because I like uh, having this circuitry down there instead of up there. So in any case, we set uh, 5.1 uh, volts. So whenever you got uh, uh, negative feedback, the output going back to the inverting input, the uh, op amp does what it can to make those voltages equal. And uh, so with the load, it has to have a higher voltage, but ultimately you'll have 5.1 volts at the inverting input if all things go well, you have enough power and everything. Um, so that 5.1 volts now will be across that 1000 ohm resistor. That is what sets the current, even if there's a load there. Because remember, it will raise the voltage as needed and provide the current that's needed to get uh, 5.1 volts, since that's what we set. And uh, so 5.1 volts divided by 1000 ohms is a 0 .0051 uh, amps, which is the same as 5.1 milliamps, which is uh, pretty close to what we measured. So in any case, this is my quick video series. You can see the circuit there, so I'm not gonna drag it out. Our Zener down, and then here's the uh, resistor going from the inverting input uh, to ground. And we have, I was uh, completing the gap with the meter uh, from there or from uh, one of the LEDs or uh, both of the LEDs. As you can see there, we were completing the path. 